swish and you go out of mix, swish and flick. So you don't need the swish, but the finger flick is one of the best ways to mix things inside of a micro pipette tube. Um, and so this is also another great way is inverting the tube as well as you can pipette up and down. So pipetting is really great, especially if you have a small amount of liquid, but you wanna be careful when you do it that you don't submerge the tip too far or else you might get liquid stuck on the outside. You might also get liquid stuck on the inside, which is why um, sometimes like a finger vortex or that sort of thing could be a better alternative so you're not losing liquid um, that gets stuck to the tip. So you might think, well, why don't you just centrifuge it? Centrifuge is, it's like a mixer, right? It's mixing things around. Well, the centrifuge, what it's actually doing is it's going to separate things out um, by like how heavy they are, especially if we are to centrifuge really, really fast. And so this is why we use centrifugation um, to separate things. Like when we're pelleting out things, we want to get the membrane gunk out of like a cell lysate. Um, and so if we stick something in the centrifuge, it's just going to kind of like pull everything down. Um, whereas with the vortex, what we're doing is we're actually like spinning things up and we're actually mixing it together um, rather than just kind of bringing everything to the bottom of the tube. Just gonna like separate things based on their weight. So I might mix things up a little, uh, but you can see like here, this is just still stuck in the bottom. And so if you have something like this, what you can do is another option is a vortex mixer. So this is like, we sometimes call it like finger vortex when we do it with our finger, but you can see that that is gonna mix everything really well. It makes us like vortex. Um, but this can be bad if your samples are really um, sensitive. Maybe they have enzymes in them or something and you don't want to de deactivate them. So you want to do something more gentle. Um, and the finger flick is a great way to do this. Um, and so if you have a really viscous solution, like something with some glycerol in it, um, you might need to give the finger flick a little help. Um, with some inverting, some pipetting. And then once you get things going, you can kind of establish that vortex emotion like you would have with an actual vortex, except in this case, you're doing it with your fingers. Um, when you do it with your fingers, um, so sometimes you might get things, you might have things like bubbles form. You might have liquid that gets stuck on the top, even especially if you're doing like a real vortex, you might get like liquid stuck on the lid and stuff if you're extra um, vigorous in your vortex. And so then what you can do is you can then stick it into the, um, the mini fuge afterwards to really spin things down. Um, but your go-to mixer for me is my finger. Um, and I'm a big fan of the finger flick. And so that was your fun lap tip for the day.